During the week of March 9th, I had the chance to be a part of an alternative spring break vacation. While most think of suntan lotion and ocean tides for this week of respite, this year I was ready for something new. On Saturday morning, my bags were packed as I and 31 other Athens area Young Life leaders were off on an adventure to the country of Nicaragua. Before leaving, I had a chance to sit down with one of our Athens area Young Life leaders to see what she was looking forward to most about the trip. Um, what would you say you are most excited about your trip to Nicaragua? I am most excited for my trip to Nicaragua to give back to an organization that um, has brought so much joy to my life and to let um, other people, the Nicaraguans, um, experience part of my world, which is Young Life, and um, be able to build a place for them to relax and learn about Jesus. Um, why did you choose an alternative spring break for spring break 2013? Um, I have loved the beach, I love, enjoy the beach, and I've had my fair share of beach trips, but this year I felt like it was my chance to pay it forward and take the 10 days of spring break and give back to other people and grow as a person, grow in my faith and um, get to know new people and make new relationships. La Finca is home to Vida Hoven, Nicaragua. In English, that translates to Young Life, Nicaragua. It began in 1988 when Jim and Sarah Hornsby visited Nicaragua with Habitat for Humanity and discovered the need for youth development within the community. Thus, they implemented La Finca as a summer camp situated in the mountains and the country that provides a respite for Young Life leaders and students from 30 different areas that Young Life reaches throughout Nicaragua. Camp features many activities that come once in a lifetime to students of Nicaragua. These include a lake, game room, several sports facilities, and a chance to hear the gospel for the first time in Young Life Club held nightly throughout the week. Every night, students gather in the club room to watch games and participate in several different club activities together as a community. Though games aren't the only thing happening at this camp, La Finca operates solely on donations and funding from the Beyond Beans coffee farm located on the camp's property. With over 25 acres dedicated to the delicate coffee plant, La Finca produces up to 25,000 pounds of coffee per year. And what do they do with it? They sell it to people like you and me who can't get enough of this black bean caffeine loaded day maker. As if this homegrown coffee isn't enough motivation, here is the real kicker. For every one pound bag of Beyond Beans coffee sold for $12, Vita Hoven can send a kid to camp for a day. All funds go back to the camp where it belongs. At the end of the week, it was time to pack our bags and head out. We left with tired feet, full hearts, and abnormally strong coffee addiction. But the work that went into our time there was well worth it. This year's alternative spring break with Young Life allowed our team to gain a new perspective on an international scale. I had the chance to catch up with one of our leaders after the trip. What do you think that your biggest takeaways from the trip to Nicaragua were? Um, I just thought that it was really cool to get to um, worship the same God with people from a different country and a different language. Um, and I love just getting to spend time on the farm with the people and build relationships with them. Overall, would you say that you're happy you chose an alternative spring break this year? Yes. Um, I just think that this trip was a lot more meaningful and I'll carry these memories with me. Um, more so than if I just went on a typical spring break trip. So there you have it. I hope this documentary gave you an insight into what an alternative spring break looks like here at UGA. I wouldn't trade my time at La Finca for anything, and since my return home, things will never be the same.